three ideas in one paper. Every paper. And I'm becoming to not be a problem. I'm becoming to the struggle. It is the struggle for liberation of these people. For first of all, for liberation of the entire. And liberation of these people. And people have chosen to follow him. If you are not following him, just keep quiet and go and do your own. Let it not be an issue for you. It does seem you are not an issue for me. But you come in and become in and become in and become. Why? Who knows that in and become will come? Nobody knows. I didn't know you didn't know. But the Gwari, the Christian man become. Gwari is not the most strongest woman being on earth. We have seen so many people. Where did you go? Where did you go? Apartheid system, where are you from? Where is the British Empire? Where is the Soviet Union? Where is the Roman Empire? We don't see a lot of things. In and the crew, whether they bow for him or they don't bow for him, it's none of your business. Because if you are talking, if you don't, if you have sense, if you talk about him and the crew, but we go talk when they may bow down for one man following you. When did they bow down for all my cause to that? When did they bow down for that thing they call the Bible? That they brought for one minute. Don't talk all those of them. Inam the Kano will not be a problem. Inam the Kano is on a cause. A cause that will bring salvation, independence, freedom, and dignity back for our people. If you don't agree with him, just keep quiet. Because very soon you will come. We are marking all of you. We are marking all of you. All of you will think that by trading with us, by being a philosophy, you are going to gain. Whether you are a Kokweo, Yaosa Kweo, whatever you call yourself, you are talking. You say you are intellectual. I don't see anything intellectual about you. If you want to debate, I am ready to debate with you on all issues. And you tell me why the boss is red hand. Let, let them have a level playing field and let all the companies return to where they are. Whether the boss should be what it is. The boss is like a sucking blood, a taracula, sucking on the blood of the people of, 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 of the South South and the South East. And you are talking about Lagos. What does Lagos have? You are talking about Lagos, sucking on our blood. Instead of our political leaders to stand up and defend and say, you don't pay no certificate of occupancy for you. If you don't bring your headquarters, no certificate. Before, the way we say land is in the hands of people, they revoke all the certificate of occupancy of these companies. And tell them, and then there will be a collision between this evil government in Africa and the government in Portugal, the government in Yeruba, the government in Asaba, the government in Yoruba. The government in uh, in the way we fuck all the certificate of occupancy of their slow station. We fuck all the certificate of occupancy of everything. If they don't come back, if those of you who are doing believe in Nigeria, do that first. Instead of coming to when you do that, they will sit up. There will be constitutional crisis. They cannot arrest you. They ask our assembly to pass law, revoke it, and let the people occupy that place. Now the country should not be a problem. Man, the canon has shown the way. It's a woman being, and what he has done, there is no living evil man dead or alive that has done as much as what the canon has done in this year. And those of us who appreciate it, we continue to appreciate it. Not because he will give us anything on that. He has nothing to give us. But we know that what he is doing, the benefit of it, will not only be for us, but it will be for all of us. And will stand, will benefit immensely, including you, your children, with all the sabotage, all the terms you are putting on the way. Inam the Khan is a man to be respected. A man to be respected. Everybody is struggling. And they say, Balaji, why don't you want to be? I don't want to be. I've seen it all. Nothing will come out of it. 
the only solution, the only guarantee for our future, the future of my children, the future of their children, the future of generation unborn is Biafra. Biafra. If you are not in support of Biafra, you are a traitor. You are a traitor. You are a traitor. And the people, the generation that are coming, they will, they will tell you if you are lying. They will spit on your face. They will urinate and defecate on their grave for betraying them. You come to talk, you are afraid. You are living liver. You are a coward. You don't want to stand up and fight. You want to remain where you are. I will not remain with you. The African army and the military of the African will be the core foundation of the Biafran people. Biafran people. Our military. They said, if you want peace, prepare for war. Their cattle are everywhere between our communities. They want to build ranches on our land for their people. Every law must be made for them. Recently, camp. They put cut off back at uh, 18 over 400. It's not enough. They brought it down to 100 and 120 so that they will, they will be high, they will get, make the law to suit themselves and take their people into the university. Every law must be for their interest. What is your interest? The people who gave quick notice and people said they are not going, when they kill you, you will be in their grave. They said they cannot arrest them. But they want to arrest an army. You cannot arrest the man. You cannot arrest anybody. You cannot arrest anybody. We are all ready to make the sacrifices. I am ready. You have arrested Mr. Rata. Nothing has happened. God is on our side. We are very close to our freedom. And Biafra, Biafra is surely going to be free. And there's nothing you can do about it. If you like, go and meet with the enemy plot. Do whatever we do. The Almighty God says, they plot, we too are plotting. And at the end, we will know who is it. All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. As we just finished this video, I hope every one of you understand every word that come out from Asari Dokubo mouth. Asari Dokubo said, Mazin Namde Kano is a man that must be respected. That is a heavy, heavy, you know, a very strong word. At the same time, Asari Dokumbo also repeated, or he said, that Mazin Namde Kano, what this man have done, none, 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 nobody, have getting closer to what he have done by uniting our people, by trying to, you know, bring the issue and also at the same time tell us the root of our problem you all know who is asari dokubo asari dokubo is a man that you know he has no any balls or gods he don't stand on his word this is a, I mean, this is i mean why i bring out this video is for you people to see when asari dokubo was praising praising mazin namdekano because of what is going to benefit he don't know that Mazin Namrikano is there to defend his people, to work with his people. He always asks what his people is going to benefit, not what him is going to benefit. Asari Dokubo said, nobody know or knew that Mazin Namrikano will come, even though he himself don't know. But he will keep on respecting Mazin Namrikano. You know why I'm bringing all this thing to you people is for you to know that this man called Asari Dokubo has need, he don't have a word of his own. He is a charlatan. He is inconsequential. He's not relevant. And he's doing this thing always to be relevant, to be, you know, keep on doing all manners of evil to our people. We have heard a recent video of Asari Dokubo in Asorok saying that they should kill Mazen Namdekano. The same man that is telling you who you are listening to his voice. This is a double video that I coupled. Double video. 
He said every good thing about this man. He said everything that this man have done. He also praised him above him, the Asari Dokubo, because he knows that this man stands for his own people. The same Asari Dokubo now went to Abuja telling you that they should kill the whole Igbo people. Now you understand. Nobody ever questioned this man. No, no uh, security apparatus have ever arrested this man or questioned this man. Nobody. That is why he have audacity and impetus to come out and start saying that uh, they should kill the whole Igbos. At the same time, he was saying that his father were one of those that are selling the Igbos. That if the, the slave trade did not end, of course, he's going to take position of his father and keep on selling the Igbos. This man have not been arrested or been questioned or been prosecuted. Nothing. He's just there roaming around saying all manners of things, trying to tell people that he will crush a nation, indigenous people, that he's going to crush them. He's going to stop them. And nothing have happened to this man. Of course, I know that a lot of you people, a lot of people saw the video that when he was threatening the Igbo people, carrying all sort of arrest, uh, you know, I mean, the suffocated weapon and assorted of rifles, showing, showcasing himself on social media. Of course, some people will come out and be telling you that it's old video. You see, everything that is happening, we are taking record. We are taking record. And we are not going to stop on this. That is why you see, we are bringing back things so that you will see because most of our people, they have 15 minutes memory. Things will happen to our people this week. After one week, it's already been forgotten. No, we are going to bring it back for you to see when this man was threatening the Igbo people, telling them they are going to collect Woto Woto. And you people know what it is by somebody telling you you are going to collect Woto Woto, that he's going to be quieting our people. And he did it. He did it. And as I'm speaking to you people today, nothing, nobody have questioned this man. Nobody have called this man to order to tell him, oh boy, but this thing where they talk, it's not, a, it's, it's, it's against humanity. But because of the way we have find ourselves in that contraption, you can do anything and walk away free with it. Now you begin to understand. You know, I'm bringing this video for you people to see that this Asari Dokubo, money have exchanged hands. And now his back is on the ground. Money have exchanged hands. And his back is at ground. Just imagine what this man said from the day one. And now you see what he began to say. I mean, on his recent videos. That to show you that this man has no word of his own. That is for you to know that this man is working towards only for his stomach. This man is working for himself. Not even though with the job people that he claimed that he is from his job. And this man is still also tell you that his name is Ediabane. You know, sometimes I don't even understand what is wrong with our people. <clears throat> that is what they call divide and rule. That is how they be able to, you know, destroy the minds of our people. Begin to tell other people, I mean, coastal region and hinterland of Biafra that we are not one people. But of course, you know, we are one people. But I just want you to hear and see and you have seen and listened. And I want you to get yourself convinced. Why this man is saying all this thing that he's saying today? This is the good things that he said about Mazen Nambikan. None, nobody ever, nobody ever have done what this man have done to unite his own people, to be able to bring his own people back together. Nobody. And him, the Asari Dokubo, acknowledge that. That is why he come in public and begin to tell the world. A this man that you see, we saw here that just finished talking. We saw him on social media with AK-47 assorted rifles, parading himself with his boys, I mean, uh, with his uh, militia, telling you open and plain, nobody have arrested this man. This man have carried his uh, uh, militia group, went to hinterland of Biafra, massacred our people. He came out openly, openly, he speak about it. I'm coming with different videos. I just want to drop this one. I will be coming with different videos to see who this man is. And I want you to tell me who is a betrayer between Asari Dokubo and Mazen Namdekan. Who is a betrayer? And if you people haven't forgotten, this thing we are talking about, Mazen Namdekan is today, that, I think that was two days ago, two years in DSS dungeon. We are not talking about prison in DSS dungeon. You understand? 
I don't think Asari Dokubo can last two years in DSS dungeon with the way he looked like. If he if he will not die then. But now he's he, you know he's castigating somebody that he himself have praised. Tell you people that this man is fighting for the liberation and the freedom of his own people. That is why he's there. And he himself acknowledged him. Because no, no person have done what he did. Before he come out in public domain and begin to speak, there is something he saw on this man. But as time goes on, there is something he needs because Asarid is working for his stomach. That is the reason why. And he understands that this man is serious. Because what I do understand by then that Asarid Okubo was coming to Mazen Namikan for them to work together and be able to solve their own problem by, you know, getting the, the word for themselves. Not for the public or not for the indigenous people or for their people they are fighting for. They are just coming for them to be richer. And the poorer will remain poor. And that is exactly what is happening today. In Abuja, the time they want to swear in uh, Tinubu, Asari Dokubo, all the way from Ejo, he carried all his militia with AK-47. Nobody questioned this man. Nobody arrested this man. Nobody called this man to order. But, oh boy, what are you doing? You say that you are in a democracy. You are carrying a, a tout, a militant, living in a clique carrying them to Lagos to go and defend your people's mandate. That is why he have that impetus and come to social media or in Asorok begin to say, you should kill Mazen Namdekan. We are bringing this video back to you people to listen what this man said. I will rest my case here. More videos is coming. Remember this.